Dear J&B, I felt compelled to write and thank you for the bold and inventive programming alternative you provide for the community at large. Your program entertains as it instructs. An argument could be made that your program represents the true self-actualization of video media. If not self-actualization, then at least an art slash life slash media slash alcohol slash life matrix with subtext. Could you please introduce more drinks that involve fruit? I would like to see a demonstration of how to properly properly load fruit with alcohol, watermelons, etc. Thanks. Name and address withheld upon request. So um, I guess therefore we're going to have to show you how to load up your fruit. So um, watch this. <laughs> So, uh, what better place to get fruit, of course, than your local grocery store? Now, J&B on the Rocks is not just simply a surface program that, that, that just relies on, on uh, you know, some kind of real shallow connection with the world to, to teach you, to educate people. We, we go for depth, for spiritual depth, for, for a holistic um, bonding experience between people and, and events um, and so therefore it's important when choosing the fruit that you're going to use to consult a medium that uh, that that can provide you with the, the correct answer as to whether you have a good connection with your fruit so um, we have here our magic eight ball and um, we are going to consult our magic eight ball on exactly which fruits are best for us J and B because you know it differs from person to person and when you're when you're loading fruit, we suggest that you also consult some medium, be they a, a, a tarot card reader or some such, to, to give you an understanding of what it takes. So here we go. Oh, Magic 8 Ball, tell us. Pears? It is decidedly so. It's decidedly so. Huh? What's that? Oh, goodness. Huh? What's that? Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. Now, we were, we were booted from the Kroger produce section. So, as you just saw in that last scene, uh, we, were, we were booted from the Kroger produce section um, because we didn't have permission to videotape in there. Now, um, admittedly, uh, you know, in, in today's climate, you know, the sticky situation with, uh, uh, you know, proprietorship and, and what is public and what is private, um, you know, people kind of get, get uh, themselves into problem situations. But he, we here at J&B on the Rocks revel in problem situations, and, and, and therefore we seek them out, as you can see. Um, so now what, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to call the Kroger people and, and get, their, uh, get their permission from now on to videotape in their store. But we're sure that, that because they recognize the, uh, the ascendancy of J&B on the Rocks, uh, to the heights of, of televisual in entertainment, uh, there's no doubt that they'll want to be a part of it. So, oh well, next time. So, um, the, this is the assortment of things that you will need for the yes. drinks for tonight's television show. We thought it was important that you know what you're getting into here. Okay? Now, this is our How to Load Fruit episode, as you're seeing on the screen right now. So, what you'll need is this glass right here is the center of all things. Now, you'll also need an assortment of, of knives um, to, to work through tonight's program. Um, you'll need a syringe. Now, be very careful with that. You'll need a spoon. You'll need some corkscrews. You'll also need uh, about four beers for your friends who are here because you're too cheap to actually um, mix the, the drinks for them because, of course, mixed drinks are more expensive than beer. So you'll also need a Jonathan with you, or a Moon Boy as we call him. Okay, this is our particular Jonathan, the Moon. You'll also need um, some rum, as much as you can muster, some vodka, any amount will do, some rainbow sherbet. You'll need these, but actually we won't use these in the show. You'll just take them to your bedroom after the show and use them in a very special way that we'll describe for you later. Then uh, we will have a, this pear here. This is more just for moral support, okay? We're not going to really use it. Okay, so then you'll need this, uh, this lemon-orange um, uh, crossbreed. Uh, you'll need this, this uh, Del Monte quality 
um, coconut, and some delicate ginger liqueur. And remember to leave the cap on at all times until you pour. And then make, make sure you put it back because this is dangerous stuff. Now you'll also need some milk for this episode, but actually you should keep this in the refrigerator until we ask you to bring it out um, because otherwise it'll spoil. And you should put it back. Blender? Oh shit, I forgot to tell you about the blender. I just assumed that, <laughs> that as, a mixed drink, as a mixologist like myself, you would have a blender just at your side, just in your hip pocket at all times. So of course you need a blender for every J&B on the Rock show. Um, so actually now I will tell you to go ahead and get the milk um, because it's time to make our first drink. This is going to be called a loaded sherbet. Now you'll need this spoon from your little array of products here and uh, you'll want to just spoon yourself out a little bit of this stuff and put it into your centrally placed glass. Now as you can see it's already got a couple of colors to it and as, as I continue to fill the glass there will be more. Thus. Thus um, <laughs> demonstrating the, the multicultural uh, aspect of J&B on the Rocks. So I, I just noticed uh, on one of our more recent episodes that for the first time we had an African American on this television show and it, it made me realize that Bloomington is a very segregated community um, and that's really unfortunate and we'd just like to know why people think that is. So why don't you write in to us at P.O. Box 3241 Bloomington, Indiana 47402 as you see on the screen and tell us why you think Bloomington has such a, 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 a seems to be divided along racial lines to a large extent. Please get on task, Jay. Okay. All right, here I go. I'm going to move on to making this drink. What you want to do is now you want to pour some vodka in here, just about two or three ounces. Um, you know, about that much. That's plenty. That'll, that'll definitely do us for this drink. Now you want to add some milk on top of that. Um, just kind of fill it up as much as you want to. Oh, oh, until the iceberg rises to the top. And now what we want to do is put this into the blender and, and mix it around so it's just a slush. So we're going to do that right now. Here we are. We're going to put this into the... We, well, we've already put it into the blender. And then we're going to have to place this blue plate over top of the blender. Now the reason for this is because um, we're too poor to buy a new blender and a friend of ours years ago lost the lid of our blender. So, so eight great is what we're going to do here. Eight great. Here we go. Well, that looks eight graded to me. I ain't never seen so something so fundamentally eight graded. Mmm, and smell that potare drink. Potare, of, of course, being the Latin uh, word from which potable is, is derived. And your hip um, accent works so well with it, yeah. too. Then you pour it back into your glass, okay? What was this drink called? <laughs> wow, it makes you lose your memory. <laughs> Whoa! I think uh, it's called the memory lapse! Oh my god, it's the memory lapse. Wow. Wow. Gosh, what, wonder what'll happen if, if I take a big sip. What's going on? Who are you? I'm sorry, I'm the police. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you a few questions. What, what, what's going on Do you on mind here? the bright light? I know it's a little bright, but now, Jay, there's, Jay? Some, there's a matter of some missing money. Who am I? Now, let's not Where pretend. Are we? Let's not pretend. Let's get back on task. I'm talking about the money. Where is it? You know it. Where is it? Um, I don't know where we are. Look, boy, if you don't start talking, Who we're are you people? To... Oh. Where are we? That's a fine one. So we're not exactly actually sure, as, uh, as expert as we supposedly are, we really aren't exactly sure what the best way to load fruit is, but we have our theories. So we're going to try a couple different things in this program. Uh, number one, we've got this, this grape and we've got a syringe here, which is full of golden rum. And we're now ready to inject this grape. Watch as the needle punctures the delicate surface of this fruit. Oh, wow, it just slides right in. So we've got the syringe inserted, and we're now going to pump. Oh! Oh, did it explode? No, not quite, but uh, there you have a loaded grape. Hmm. 
I would pronounce that as a failure. See, the problem okay. here is that the grape has a, a, an orifice here, or whatever, this little hole. Mm -hmm. Everybody's familiar with this little grape thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where the alcohol is oozing out. So the mm -hmm. solution is to stick, stick the syringe in at this crucial point here, mm -hmm. and then pump it in. Pump it in. Yeah, you seem to be having mounds Mo of success. You don't usually have any problems pumping it in. Okay, this is not working any better than anything else we've done today. In fact, I think that we have another failure. Okay. In addition, in addition to loading fruit, we also need to load our bodies with um, fruits and vegetables in order to nourish our souls so that we can uh, remain the, uh, the eminent philosophers that we are. Um, so what we have here is a, uh, this is the brain of some kind of space alien that we got over at Kroger. The best and most humane way to, to, uh, to deal with this creature in order to, to keep it from, from uh, dying a slow and painful death is just to whack it apart. So here we go. <laughs> wow. One thing that's interesting about this creature is that it, it reproduces inside its brain and then when it's, chill, when it's uh, fetuses have, have uh, grown to maturity that the creature's head just explodes and all the, all the new little ones come out. And so here are the new little ones. So um, being the funky young abortionist that I am, I'm just going to throw them away. Oh my God, it's Christy Paxson. Yeah. I'm cleaning, the, the maid took the day off. This isn't something I do on a regular basis. Please don't confuse me with a commoner. He almost looks as if he's smiling. But not for long, because soon you'll be baked. And so, yeah. soon you too, as a home viewer, will be baked, as long as you uh, continue with us in this trek to uh, irresponsibility and stupidity. So there you go. So unless your short-term memory is, a, is just shot or uh, you have been just ignoring this television program because it's so boring, then you will have picked up that the, that the theme that we're working with here is how to load fruit. So um, we are going to now go on to, uh, to, what are we loading here? Grapefruit. Um, we're going to teach you how to load a grapefruit. Check it out, okay? What you're going to need for this is, um, a grapefruit, a knife, and some alcohol. Okay. okay. Rum, preferably. So here we go. We're puncturing the skin of the grapefruit with this knife. Oh, mm, that was good. Wow. Okay. How romantic. So think of this as kind of uh, a rectal lobotomy or something. No, no way. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at this big growth here on the side of this. Oh my God! It's eyes. Oh my God! B. Oh my God! It's a rabbit. Ah, fuck it. Okay. All right, so you've removed the anus slash nose yes. thing. Now you see underneath this this um, white substance, mm -hmm. disregard it entirely. Okay. Okay. Just You're going to want to cut around it mm -hmm. like I'm doing. There we go. That's a little bit, that's a little trickier, but I'm sure you'll manage. There's one other tool that we're going to need, which I forgot to mention, and that's a piece of paper. Okay. okay. So what you're going to do is make a handy funnel out of the paper. It's, it's very simple. And you just roll it up tight and stick it in the grapefruit there. Okay, so okay. stick it in the, uh, the, the anus. lobotomized anus. So there you have your lobotomized anal uh, uh, grapefruit with a nose funnel thing. Yes. So now I assume that you're going to be um, pouring alcohol into his nose, yes. which is actually a very valid way to get drunk is to just take a, a funnel and, uh, and stick it up your nose and then just kind of pour alcohol, large quantities of alcohol in there um, and then inhale it into your lungs um, because that way it, it uh, gets into your bloodstream most quickly. Death is, is, as everyone knows, is one of the greatest highs. It's the ultimate high. So the next step if I may interrupt, mm -hmm. is um, th that you pour alcohol into the funnel, the, the rum The here. funnel slash nose. Can you, can you see what's going on? Yeah. Okay, great. Here we go, pouring the rum. Okay, now this obviously is, look at the side here. Fiasco. Yeah, yeah. yeah can, can you see what's going on? Yeah. Okay, can you, can you see down here where it's, yeah. it's running? Yeah. See, see, the, see the ink that was there on the, that doodle on the pad? Mm -hmm. 
Failure. Failure. Utter, complete failure. Yeah. Is there still alcohol? On J and B on the rocks. Yes, there's plenty of alcohol in there. None has gone into the fruit. The step that my comrade failed to remember is that um, in order to, to make it possible for anything to go into this fruit, you have to poke around in there a lot uh, in order to make it possible for the, the booze to become more at home and, and, and comfortable with you, the home viewer, inside this grapefruit. So we're gonna squeeze out some of this juice into this, uh, into this trusty cup, and obviously I'm missing because we're just having some kind of real embarrassing fiasco here with the, uh, with the fruit. So, um... Maybe this drink should be entitled The Fiasco. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we're calling the this Frisco one. The Frisco Fiasco. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's time to add the butternut squash, if okay. you part of me. Okay, she's going to add the butternut squash, so you can get back to me if you want to. Oh. Mm. oh, dear. We didn't need those extras. Those were just extras, and they're not even getting paid, so who cares? Death to the slaves. Death to the underpaid working class. They're, these were the lumpen proletariat, actually, and they, they make their way outside the system. So they're used to it. The lumpen? Yes, this is the lumpen proletariat. You've heard of the proletariat, the working class, but the lumpen proletariat are those that work outside the system to in order to earn an income, sort of really? like, yeah, this like more like the us. lumpy proletariat. I feel like as a political science major, I just felt wonderful being able to integrate that while I'm cooking, while I'm also performing my role as woman. Okay, so now I <laughs> the believe educated that chef that we are uh, prepared to uh, to reload the uh, the grapefruit, uh, try, trying to recreate this, uh, the, or, or to make better on our little fiasco fruit um, failure. Um, so here we go. We're going to pour some alcohol into here. Can you see that? Oh, I, I missed. That was actually the problem. The lumpen proletariat would be like, oh, prostitutes, crack dealers, and people like J&B on the rocks. So we've now gotten ourselves a whole uh, fresh new um, shot glass of, uh, of rum, and we're going to pour it into the, uh, the grapefruit nose item. Uh, yet again, I've poured more on the table than, than went into here. So here's, here's what I'm going to do. Fuck the shot glass. I'm just going to pour it all in. So this here is. we go. Oh, dear. Overflow, overflow. Gosh, I guess he's had too much to drink because it's he all sure looks out. like he's had too much to drink. Yeah. So now, as as all good drug abusers know, it takes a little bit of a little Abuser. bit of time for um, for whatever uh, drug you're you're imbibing to have an effect on your neurological system. And so we're going to have to take a few minutes and let this uh, this uh, pure alcohol that we've uh, injected into this uh, this fellow's brain to to take effect. And then after that. Um, we're going to suck his brains out and, uh, and see what they taste like. Wait? You mean we have to wait? We have to wait. But, you know, patience is a virtue, especially on J&B on the Rocks, because you just have to give us time before we come around to um, something interesting. So. But I'm a member of today's society that I subscribe to instant gratification. What am I going to do? Well, why don't you just baste your meat? When all else fails, just remember, there's always one option for the whole family, and that's just baste your meat. I think Nike ought to use that. Just baste it. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm basting my fish right now, I think. I don't like what that connotes, but... <laughs> what are you gonna do? The miracle of editing. Maybe B can do something with that. I'm basting my fish right now. The miracle of editing. I'm basting my fish right now. The miracle of editing. I'm basting my fish right now. The miracle of editing. I'm basting my fish right now. I'm basting my fish right now. I'm basting my fish right now. See, my secret is you have to have a big knife. Wow, what do you do with it? Chop, chop, chop! I don't think it's legal. Kill it! Dance! 
Dance! Dance! Wow, it's a dancing fish! Skeleton. fish o skeleton dance. Oh. An evening wasted with J and B on Channel 3. Just remember, folks, an evening isn't wasted until you are. This was brought to you by the Alcohol Council. Oh, the green grass grew all around, all around, oh, the green grass grew all around. I couldn't resist the line. I couldn't resist the temptation. Instant gratification. Yeah, anyway, so that's what the light did. And then I ran to the dark. And that is where I found. But we remain in light. Moon boy. That makes me bleed! Oh, the moon! This is where I come to make the menses! See, she's sitting in the moon. We got an Asian pear to load because we're loading fruit. First of all, you need one of these. It's a kind of corkscrew that has... Okay, you stick it in there, and then you screw it all the way down in. The next thing we're going to do is you're going to insert this. I like to call this the flying man because he kind of wags his arms, or you can even do it with, by bopping his head up and down. Um, so this is, the, this is the flying man. And you'll want to take him and put his arms up in the air like he's celebrating. Now, as you can see, it won't stand up as it is. So we have a second of these kind of, uh, one of these kind of um, bottle openers, wine bottle openers. I just do this because I'm a professional and I've learned through long years of experience how to make this work. These Asian pears are among the toughest fruits to load and uh, I'm gonna take care of it for you here on Jane Beyond the Rocks. Okay. Look at that motherfucker. Pass. Okay, now. Look at that. What okay. is up with that pear? Now what you have to do is you have to take a, a knife and just cut down this way until you feel like you've gotten into like some metal down in there. And then you <laughs> unscrew this, okay? What we have here is is there's a pear cork of sorts here, um, which we will carefully unscrew from from the uh, the object thing. Um, what is this thing called? The it's screw. Corkscrew. Cork screw. Cork screw. Okay, so, so what we'll do is we'll set this down here on the table for now. Okay. So you, the first thing that we're going to do here is fill up this three cc uh, syringe with. Um, alcohol of, of some sort. I think this is uh, rum that we're using here. Um, don't try this at home. This is a yeah, very difficult... We're, of we're demonstrating the difficult ways to, fr to load fruit, but we want to emphasize that we don't want you to do this one because you might, might get hurt. Pass this is a out. mole right here. <laughs> this is a mole right here, and we're going to inject it in there like and then just, then just squirt it on in. How much? Um, all of it. Oh, yeah. All the rum. It's all running down the back. Yeah. No, it's not. It's yeah. it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I saw. <it>. Wow! <laughs> okay, so we may have put a little bit too much rum into her, but she'll be okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get you're gonna inundate the uh, the tip of a cotton swab with uh, with delicate ginger liqueur, and then you're going to uh, just stick that right into the uh, artificially created rectum right here. Ooh. So That kind of burns, uh, but it kind of feels good. And then just wait. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, it's a dildo.